Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman 300 TQ. This is one of the larger toy hauler models, and honestly, I like it for the versatility. You'll see right back here, we're in a 10-foot garage section, so this is in the back of the RV. The thing I like about this is, like I mentioned, it's a versatile space. If you want to use this as a toy hauler, by all means, it has all the toy hauler functionality, but you can also use this as a big bunk room. If you want a second room for kids, if you go camping with a lot of friends, family, maybe mother or mother-in-law that wants to go with, this is a great space. You have, as you can see, two big couches here with a table right in the center. Both of these couches do fold down into a bed, so you have sleeping space there. You have the Happy Jack power bed system up top. That comes down for another queen bed. And again, 10 foot of space. So think about it, you're traveling, you can put your bikes back here, you can put uh, you know, your grills, a lot of those bigger items that you don't want to stuff in your pass-through you normally can't fit, you can fit in this space, and then it's a great living space. You'll see you have linoleum all the way through here. So it's a lot more residential in this space than most of your toy haulers. And again, I like that aspect of it. If you want to use it, you know, as your standard toy hauler and haul toys, by all means you can. You see you have your D-rings going all the way along. You'll have nine of those along the floor. These uh, sofas do flip up against the wall to give you that extra space there as well. If we take a look right up here, you see some uh, extra storage. So, you know, if you want to put uh, helmets up there or whatever else, you can go ahead and use that. LED lights throughout the entire RV. Those are great, especially if you're doing a lot of boondocking, because not only do they not put out near the heat, but they also use a fraction of the power. Right here is your power bed control for the Happy Jack. Nice and simple, folks. You can just push it down. You'll see the bed drop down just like so. And when we do drop this down, you'll see there's an additional LED light there up top. Keep it nice and bright. You have your ladder right here, so it's quick and easy to climb into the bed. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, so that is nice and soft as well. If we take a quick look over to this side, uh, this will lead to the bathroom. It is a pass-through bathroom into the main living area. We'll get up there in just a moment. But if you take a look right here, you have a spot in the wall where you can mount the TV. They put a backer in there and your connections are right up top. So again, they're hanging out back here, you know, eating at the table, playing games, whatever. You can watch TV. You have your exhaust vents, one up here, one down the other corner. So again, if you are using this as a toy hauler, you can air everything out. And you have a secondary door right over here. Granted, you can always drop the ramp and walk in and out of the ramp if you want, but I like having the secondary entrance, especially if it's raining. As we start to step up into the walkthrough bathroom here, you see your foot flush uh, lever toilet right down below. And as you'll notice, I have plenty of room here, both for my legs, and I'm pretty broad in the shoulders. There's nothing here that's going to get in my way. You'll also notice right down here, you have your heat duct. So just like in the garage, you have ducted heat throughout this whole thing, so you don't have to worry about freezing to death. You know, heated back there, heated in here, obviously heated up front. Now, if you take a look at the ceiling, same thing. You have ducted AC throughout. And again, your garage portion will have that too. You also see your uh, vent here to quickly help moisture escape. And again, LED lights. Right over to the side here is the shower. I'll show you an idea of height. I'm six foot. You see I have a couple extra inches here. You know, if you're six three, six four, you'll probably have to duck down a little bit. Uh, but you know, it is still pretty good height. Then you have the hand wand here for ease of use when showering. We take a look across the way to the other side. I'll open this up for you. You can see right here, you have a great linen closet. You can stuff all your towels and everything up there. You know, hand towels, bath towels. You have two large drawers here. So that's perfect for all of your other uh, bathroom, uh, you know, things you may put in here, your health and beauty products, if you will. Right next to that, mirrored medicine cabinet. So you can, you know, put your medication, toothbrush, stuff like that in there. Obviously, you have sink top, sink there, and then some additional storage right down below. As you'll see, the main living area in the 300 TQ is nice and open thanks to the slide-out U-Dinette. Really opens this space up in here. If we take a look at the kitchen over to the side, you see the double bowl sink there, larger bowl on the left, smaller one here on the right, and the nice high-rise faucet to make it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. You have a window directly behind that to let in some natural light. LED light right up top here. And up above that, you see some additional pantry storage. 
Over to this side, you have your control panel. It is nice and high. So again, if you're using this as a family model, uh, you know, because you can sleep an army in the back, you don't have to worry about little kids, you know, moving your slide in and out or your awning or anything like that because it is up high. Electrical outlet over there too in the kitchen. So if you need to plug in coffee maker or something, you have a spot to do it. Three burner cooktop right here. The front one is high output. And then you'll see you have an oven down below in case you want to do some baking. You have this cutout right in front of the sink running all the way along. Great spot for a bunch of spices. And then underneath right there, you have a huge storage compartment. So you can kind of do one of two things for, uh, with this in my opinion. One, you can use this for all of your pots and pans and store them in there. I myself, however, would probably put a trash can in there. It's a great space for it. You're going to have plenty of room for all of your cleaning chemicals there too. Microwave right up top with your hood directly underneath that. Light and fan in there. Some storage up above the refrigerator. You can see that open space. And then directly below is your Norcold fridge freezer unit. Six cubic foot, so plenty of space there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then over across the way, take a look at this. I really enjoy this. You have huge pantry space right here. So again, if you want, you know, you can put your, uh, your dishes in here, your plates, you can put extra food in here, you can put your pots and pans in here, blender, toaster, whatever else you need, but that is awesome extra storage space there. Right here on the side is your thermostat. This does control both your ducted uh, heat as well as your ducted AC. Let's take a look at the slide out U dinette. This is a huge U dinette, and I love when manufacturers do this, especially in a toy hauler setup, because chances are you'll have a lot of people that are coming with you, and this allows everyone to sit around the table together and enjoy a dinner together or play a game at night. Uh, you know, so I really like the fact that they put this in there. Plus, if you need additional sleeping capacity, even though you can easily sleep four adults in the back, if you need more, you have it right here. The table will drop down, it'll rest on these rails here, you can take the back cushions, put them on top, and this will create another sleeping space for two more adults. The one side here you'll see has easy access to storage. I open that up there, and so that goes all the way back, great extra storage there. Windows all around the slide, LED light up top, and you have an electrical outlet down over here. So if you do need to plug in any electronics like a tablet or a laptop while you're sitting at the table, you have the capability to do that. Right here in the center is the entertainment center. Uh, this is great. You know, if you it's a rainy day, you just want to kind of stay inside, watch some TV, this gives you a spot to do it. Now remember, you do have the one in the back as well, so you can sit on the couches and watch it there, but you have another option here. So maybe put the kids in the back, let them watch the kids' show, put on Frozen, whatever. You have the main TV here. Uh, nice big area for the TV as well, so you can put a decent sized TV there. And you'll see the multimedia center right down here. This is a radio CD and DVD player, so you want to watch a movie, great. Pop it in, hook up these audio video cables in the back of the TV, and you are rocking and rolling. This unit does control the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. You see right in here you have some hookups for your uh, uh, cable right there. You have the cable booster over to the side. You will notice your electrical outlet, and then storage right down underneath. The front of the 300 TQ, of course, is the bedroom. Right in the center, you have the queen bed, and flanked on either side are your nightstands. You'll see great pull-out drawers there. You have electrical outlets on both sides as well, so if you need to plug in any electronics or you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can put that on either side of the bed. Right up above that, you have mirrored wardrobes. You'll have those on both sides of the bed, so plenty of hanging space. And then you have a shelf connecting the two across the top with an LED reading light right underneath it. Right behind me here, you see there is a spot to mount a, yet a third TV. So if you like to lay in bed and watch TV, not an issue. Again, they installed a backer right there, and then the appropriate connections are right up above. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at the outside features of the Coleman 300 TQ. Starting right up front, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Nice and easy to get to those. Just undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you are in. Right behind that, you have your rack on here up front, which you see on quite a few toy haulers, and it's super useful. As you'll notice, it has plenty of room for a couple batteries there. It's actually segmented off, and you'll notice right to the side here that there is plenty of room for your second battery. 
a little bit of room behind that. And then this other side for whatever gear you want to put there. Now they say that it's not recommended or rated for uh, you know a generator, but let's be honest, it's built for a generator. So or whatever else you know, if you want to put firewood on there, you can certainly do that too. Whatever else you want, but I do like the fact that that is there. When we come around to the side here you'll notice that you have your solar uh, plug right to the right here. This is solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug them in right there. It's already pre-wired and it will send a trickle charge to your battery, which if you are using this as a toy hauler, chances are there'll be a lot of places you don't have shore power. So that can be quite beneficial. Right over here is your pass-through. One of the things I love about Coleman is they use the same size door on the camp side they do on the off-door side. They're both big, large doors. A lot of times manufacturers will put a smaller door on the off door side to save a little bit of money, but that's not very convenient. If you have a bigger item and you slide it in, you want to be able to get it out from the other side, you need the same size door. Plus a lot of the chairs they're making now, they're super comfortable, but they're bigger and you need a bigger opening to be able to get them into that storage space. Or of course, in the event of a toy hauler, you can obviously put it in the garage portion too. We take a look up top, big power awning here. Just touch a button to have that roll out. Same thing to have it go back in. It has an adjustable pitch on there. So, you know, depending on where the sun is, you can have more or less shade. And you can also just tilt one end. That way you have water run off one side or the other. And you don't have to readjust it to roll it back up. Wherever you set it is fine. Roll it up, it rolls up just fine. Roll it back out and uh, again, it will be where you left it at. Getting into the toy hauler here, the 300TQ is pretty simple. You have your two entry doors. You'll see they both have three foldable steps, or you can always enter the ramp in the back. This entrance right here will get you into your main living space. The back one will go into the garage. If you take a look here, you have an electrical outlet right outside this door. You need to plug anything in. This is certainly the place to do it. If you want, uh, again, if you're going boondocking or wherever you're camping just doesn't have water hookup, You'll want to fill your uh, fresh water tank. That's where you'll do it. And that is gravity fill. Water heater here over to the side. You'll see your furnace here, refrigerator up above that. We take a look up top. You have two outside speakers there. I had mentioned those inside. Those are controlled by that multimedia center. But again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So you can sit right out here, use your smartphone or tablet to connect to that via Bluetooth. That way you don't have to go in and out to constantly uh, change radio stations or whatever else you want to do. You'll also notice up top there, you have your uh, LED light strip. So that way, if you want light at night, just flip it on, you're good to go. And yeah, certainly if you want to hang your own lights, you can do that too, but I like the fact that it, it does come with it as a standard. What is not standard is this right down here. This one has the optional aluminum alloy wheels. Normally it has steel rims, but the aluminum certainly give a, a much nicer appeal, as well as the fact that aluminum doesn't rust, so it will stay looking nice for the life of the RV. It also has nitrogen filled tires on here, which in theory should hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. And that's always something you wanna check, folks. Each and every time you go out camping, no matter if you have a travel trailer, fifth wheel, motor home, no matter what it is, always check your tire pressure. Last thing you want is a blown tire. As I mentioned, secondary entrance right there, that goes into the garage. Right in the back here is your ramp door. So it's pretty standard as far as how to open it. You have locks on either side there. So, you know, if you have your valuables in here, you can lock it up or if it's at night, you know, you can lock it up. During the day, you simply pull this out just like that. You'll swing this out and around, do the same thing on the other side. You'll see there's handles right here. That way you can uh, easily pull it down. And then you have the helper springs all along the bottom. That way, it's easy. Normally, you know, this would be a pretty heavy door, but those springs take a lot of weight out of it. So one person, you know, can easily lift and lower this ramp. And then that will get you right into your garage living space. Right up above that, you will see you have a backup camera prep. That's what uh, this guy right here is. That's nice too, folks. This is not a small travel trailer. Having that prep is great because you can, uh, it's a lot easier to install a backup camera there, meaning it will save you a lot of money. And having a backup camera is nice, especially if you have a bad spotter. That way as you're backing up, you can make sure you're not hitting trees or you know, uh, picnic tables, anything else that someone left in the campsite. On the off door side here, you have a couple more connections. You'll see your cable inlet is right over here. 
If you drop down, you'll see one of two terminations. This one right here is for your gray tank. The black tank termination is in front of the axles there. So if you're at uh, you know, a permanent site or a seasonal, you'll, what I would recommend is just connecting the two in a Y and sticking it down. Otherwise, you know, you dump your black, pull up, dump your gray, and you're good to go. Right over here is your city water inlet. So again, if you have city water, you'll hook it up there. And then your 30 amp power cord right here. All right, folks, that wraps it up. This is a great travel trailer. If you, again, if you want to use it as a toy hauler, it makes an excellent toy hauler. The thing I love about it though, is the back is a very residential area and it is a great option if you have a big family or are looking to sleep a lot of guests. If you're interested in this one and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.